As we continue with my series here on Free Your Mind called New Chapters, I introduce you to one of my closest friends. Uh, he is definitely an amadamophis artist, a wonderful dancer. So I decided that I wanted to see from his point of view what's going on in his life as far as his new chapter or chapters. I introduce you all now to Prentice Whitlow. Here he is. So yeah, last, last summer, actually no, I'll take it even further back, the past two years, I was in a relationship that I really didn't need to be in. And I guess prior to that relationship, I've always been a really productive person, a very busy person. And then when I got into this relationship, um, it just like completely slowed me down and knocked me off my path. And uh, it only like knocked me off my path. Like really, it really put me through some things. Um, and I'm sure as anybody knows who's like gone through really like serious breakup, there's a period of rebuilding that needs to happen after that. And I feel like I fell so low beneath who I was before the relationship that uh, it was like an even more difficult climb because I feel like I lost a lot like professionally I feel like I lost a lot um, emotionally uh, and just in general yeah I just feel like I, I lost myself um, and, I, and I did like I really I really I really did uh, so like the, the past year um, or not even, not even the past whole year just like since December or January, I think January is when it like really clicked in. And like the first question I had to ask myself, like the first question that made me like really think um, about uh, about um, about myself in, in a way that would that would create uh, like a like a, a chain reaction of changes and growth and that which I'm still a part of now. It was like you know. How do I show love? How is it? Like I, 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 like part of the reason why I got so fucked up in the first place is because I was looking for love, and I allowed myself to get into this, this like really fucked up situation with somebody because I was looking and needed a certain kind of love. And if that, if I was willing to go to those lengths in order to to have love, how can I? How can I keep myself from making similar mistakes by trying to solve that problem in other ways? And once I asked myself that question, it just like led to more self-discoveries. And that's the place that I'm in now still is like a continued place of just self-discovery. And, and it's, it's grown from an emotional place into um, a, my professional world. Uh, I guess because as I be, like I, the, I just the questions began to be more and more specific um, as the past few months have gone on. The questions that I've asked myself, um, and as and because I've been able to be very very good about answering those questions and being like specific with myself about what my my needs are as an individual and not not allowing um, our, my my. Um, my quest to, to like my quest for emotional satisfaction to be like satisfied by general statements. Um, I've been able to like I guess like really grow, and it's been like it's been amazing. It's 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 a crazy ass thing to go from like losing your mind to being on the mend, and like even like even today like it's it's been it's difficult answering these questions and talking to you about this because I'm still figuring things out uh, even just a few like months ago like shit was still really hard um, but I'm so I'm so excited because I've, I've, I've done the work like I'm journaling like a motherfucker I'm um, reading things that are extremely helpful I am going back and reading my notes I've been like doing stuff like writing myself love letters writing myself encouraging notes, you know, like any anything that I, I figure that I need 
I'm taking the time to actually try to satisfy those things for myself. Uh, and 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 it, that that self sufficient uh, uh, attitude, I suppose, that those those self sufficient behaviors have have like given me a platform on which I can continue to build. And right now, I feel like I can do almost any fucking thing that I want. Like I, and, and and you know, like the the world is uh, not everyone's oyster. I'm not um, I'm not immune to to failure by any means. But I feel, I feel prepared. I feel like I've equipped myself with a way of thinking and a way of going about the world that, that allows me to feel like no matter what happens, no matter what shit comes along that is going to knock me slightly off my path, I have tools uh, and people and myself and, I, and these things are arranged in such a way that I can, I can handle anything. And I've, I've entered into a place of fearlessness and although I'm still like fucking afraid of a lot of things, like there's a, there's a, there is, there's certainly, uh, I've entered into this, this age of fearlessness for myself and I only foresee it growing. And um, like for instance, I, I just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a, thank you. I am, I've always been like a, I've always been a, a, a man of multiple talents, I suppose. And even like, you know, I'm even afraid to like admit that, to like own up to like, oh, I like to do a bunch of different things and I, I presume to be able to do them well. But, um, but like this past Sunday, uh, my collaborator and I, we, we just like, like two or three weeks ago, we were just like, we we're gonna put on a show. Um, and I sh we showed some of our photography. Uh, we sh I showed a short film, I showed a solo. Um, I like rented out the space myself. Like I, I did, I, 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 I presented myself in a way that I find fearless. Um, and, and it's just, I'm just fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. Uh, I don't know what's happening next. I have a general idea. Like I'm, I'm leaving for Europe on Wednesday to go and perform uh, and teach. Um, and after, after that, like, you know, things are happening. Uh, and I've been, and, some things I don't know, some things I plan on making happen for myself, but I, I just, I generally feel uh, like, it's almost like the sun, you know what I mean? Like, the, the sun is a self-sustaining entity because, like, it creates, it, like, a, a star creates its own, uh, like, its own energy, like, you know, destroying itself and rebuilding, like, destroying itself and, like, pushing that energy out all, like, all over and over and over again. And that's kind of how I feel, like, like, there's, there, there are small things happening in me that are going to react and continue to create like larger chain reactions, and I, I can only foresee if I continue to, uh, to just like be honest and open and direct with myself. I can only foresee uh, more, more great things happening. Any of those great things are just like me waking up a few days out of the row, a few days in a row, like with a smile or with like without a heavy heart. Like that is a fucking accomplishment for me. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's my new chapter, like ownership of myself, ownership of my fears, of my past, um, and I guess an excitement for the future. I really hope you guys were able to take something away from uh, everything that Prentice had to share with you. Uh, his new chapters hopefully can help someone else, and that's what this series is all about. I would like to thank all of you for joining us for the very last edition of For Your Mind, the new chapters, uh, featuring your mama's favorite atheist, Mario. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll see you back for the very next episode in this awesome series that I'm using as a way of being able to speak to all of you through some pretty amazing people. This is the year of new chapters. What's yours? I'll see you next time. Until then, this is Raven Akundayo saying, Namaste.